Okay, so on, on the uh, Slack for today's lectures, I posted a GitHub link. So there's some exercises that I in there. Um, there so the first hour will really be focusing on kind of ideas of classical quantum chemistry and just the foundations of quantum chemistry. Uh, so we have some stuff on orbitals, if you're not familiar with that. Um, and then we have some stuff on kind of basis functions. And then, and then the people who aren't familiar with past the box, we have uh, an example here, which is kind of for the computer scientists out there. And then the, the four is extremely complicated, but if anyone wants to have a go at plotting these functions using some spherical or grid based sci fi algorithm, have a go at plotting the radial distribution functions for the um, hydrogen atoms. Okay. And then six is particularly, this is more of a, this could be a research project in its own right, <laughs> but it's calculating the secular equation for the two, the, the overlapping hydrogen atom. So this, this is not something I expect you to do today, but if you want to have a go at it over a long time, this is essentially implementing your own first quantized um, quantum chemistry algorithm package where yeah but you'll have to use some sci-fi uh, integration package to do this so good based thing probably okay um, and then when the hour is up there will be some programming exercises where I essentially, I, if, you, if you've got VS Code or whatever package that you choose, there is essentially, this is a sci fi trotter code. And we're going to be some, we we'll play around with that and try and build some circuits for it. But for the first hour, have a go at the, at the exercises. Um, and I have, we'll, we'll do a group tutorial. This is something I want to explain in more detail, which I will do in about half an hour. So I've put, there's a, there's a link in the lectures 19th of April on Slack. Let me know if you, you should all have access. Please let me know if you don't. <clears throat> Yeah, and I've got to stay at my desk. So if you need, want to ask a question, <laughs> shout it. <laughs> well, I'll, I can come to you. It's just, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I'll post the answers as well. Please. Okay. Thank you. 
Yes, so I'm just uh, recording again. Cool, good. Okay. So, so uh, if you have stuff to share, remember to share it. Otherwise, you're going to share it. Okay. Thanks. What's up to the day slide of the today lecture? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because are useful for doing the exercise uh, that the formula correctly, right? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Yeah, sorry, six exercise one. Uh, and this is the solution as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
I got loads of lectures by the way to get to Slack, and I will also put on the get. Yeah. If you want to start on the coding one, you can do that now as well, but I don't, don't really mind. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's a bug in the code. <laughs> I need to fix it. Sorry, right. give me a sec. I, I'm using an old version of Python. Code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But this, not about this 
There's a bug in my code and I can't find I can't fix it. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's just the I think the but fairly operator no longer has the, the terms that should be. Yeah, but I've, I've, I've got rid of that. So. Something has changed that is broken up all the time. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh.
No, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, good. I fixed it. I'm just, I'm just uploading now. Okay, cool. sorry about that. No, it's so embarrassing. I don't know what happened. Like, a, a, the codes. I think the way the state vectors returned in PyTicket has changed. Did you write it in like a pre stable version? Or... Nah, it's not that old. Yeah, I know. I, was, I, I, I don't know what I didn't happened. expect it to be though. Uh, 
Large file detector. Sorry. Yeah. Can you just give me one sec. Yeah. I, I, I can't find you. The code's broken. I, I'm just. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. Well, how do you get that? Thank <laughs> you. 
fuck. Why? I can't. I can't find you. Sorry. My, my, uh. <laughs> What's that? I, 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 five minutes, five minutes.
Right. Right. Yeah, so clearly you've got to get rid of it. Pick the work, it should run now. And there's three tasks for you to play with right now. So essentially, what the root repository is doing is there's a, there's a basically a Hamiltonian given in the pipe to get Kiva parity operator. And it's, uh, it's basically writing a sci fi code to do the properization using exponentiated matrices. Um, so the, the first task is essentially. What it's doing propagation, but using the whole exponentiated Hamiltonian. But as we know in the circuit level, the exponentiation happens at the term by term basis. So I want you to change the sci fi code to then work by exponentiating the power multiplication, power, exponentially power multiplication to term by term for the time evolution. You also see there's an imaginary time evolution code there. Um, and then the th second task is to rewrite the sci-fi code using 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 uh, pi tickets power exponentiated box, and then we'll have to use the get operator expectation value code and pi ticket utils. And then the third task is trying to implement some uh, circuit imaginary time evolution using a paper I, I worked on. Method in paper I worked on, which uses a mid circuit measurement and block encoding. You, you'll need to pull the repo again as well. Um, that's good. Let me know if it works. Yeah. Does anyone want, want to go through the meeting? Come and go through the results. I think it's a better exercise for you to go through the programming exercise. Me. So focus on this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this one. 
Some of the questions I've given them an example of the no worries. Uh, I actually mean it goes back. It's always really hard. I do enjoy it. I think it makes me laugh. I'll be glad to about some research. I yeah, yeah, I definitely would like to do Maybe if I had a bit more. That was my important Four hours in one day is hard. I don't decide for it. We don't pass on that. I don't care. 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 I I 
I just picked the simple one that you can actually play in the calculation. I, ideally, you can do for any Hamiltonian of the choice. So, so I, I just want to clarify what I mean by the side plan matrices. Um, Okay. So, what I mean by the sci-fi matrices is that this is trapezoidal. So, if you look, the initial state here is the state vector. I guess you can pick. So, I, I take it you take in the circuit, and then you just or, or some or some. But if it get if it gets a circuit, it will generate the state vector for that circuit, or you can just give it some initial state vector. So, this is the state vector, and then. It, Essentially, the side pi matrices are generated by this qubit. You take the key, the qubit operator, which is this qubit pounded operator object. You then do two sparse matrix. We'll generate the sparse matrix representation, and you can make it a dense matrix. Okay, so you're, and then what you do is you then take that matrix and exponentiate it. Here. So you, you're creating this trotter step circuit, which is an exponentiated qubit power matrix, qubit operator matrix. So there's an exponentiated matrix gives another matrix. And this trotter step here is a side is a side pi matrix. So you basically, if you look at the looping, we're doing trotter step times trotter evolution at each trotter step. 
So this, this act, so this is just the matrix multiplication at each time step, and that's causing the evolution, basically. This matrix vector time step, matrix vector time step, matrix vector time step. So the idea is to, so if what the first task is basically, if you look at the exponentiation, we're just exponentiating the whole operator, but really at the circuit level, you're exponentiating each individual power term. So you need to basically take the, Keep it power operator and break it into its constituent components at the at this level. Yeah. But if that if that's too complicated, move on to section two, which is the most task two is the most important because that's actually building quantum circuits for trotterization. Um, so and if you want to see how to do that, I'll post the link in the that well, there's a the Pi ticket example. Or keep it pallet Xbox. So I've added a Pytorch example notebook to the lectures Slack for today, and in there is an example how to use the Pali Xbox um, function or box class. Yeah, 